All right, this is the second part of getting results with Project Pay using Facebook marketing. You saw my first one where I can show you some of the posts that I've made to uh, attract a lot of people. Um, but I don't know if I mentioned this in the last one. I think I did, but make sure when you're posting, like I know I've shown you it and a lot of you will probably take a, that post, those posts and just do it word for word. That's okay for right now, but try eventually to kind of mix it up and kind of reword certain things and make it your own. Because if there's too many people posting the same ad, it's it, it's gonna stop working as well. Uh, yeah. So there you go. So now I'm gonna show you capture page, how to make the capture page I made and I'm sending to people who ask for information on Facebook. Okay. So right off the bat, there is a button below this video. If you are not with an autoresponder, you need to get with one. Um, you know, using get response, click day, free trial, seriously. You don't have to put your credit card information in at all. They literally fill your information out and they just, I mean, you're in. Okay, so what's cool about them is you get all unlocked for 30 days. In that 30 day process, you're able to one landing page. Okay, so this is the one you can use. Okay, so so you can pause the video right now if you're not with something that can you can build landing pages with and do that sign up and then restart it um or if you're with something you know how to make capture pages maybe you can make it to the best of your ability when i show you what it is okay so also i'm not going to walk through this i'm just going to show you when you get here when you log in to get response you need to make a campaign first you need basically your, your list name um so what you're going to do is you're going to come all the way to the uh, top left ish right here um, or top right. Sorry. Uh, and you're going to press down here, create campaign. I'm not going to do it. Press create campaign and you're just going to name your list. So like mine right now, I'm building project payday is project payday list two. You know, that's just what it is. It's very simple. Press create and bam, it'll be created. Okay. Then you can hit dashboard again if you want to be at the same page. You can go with me step by step. And um, so first off, let me show you real quick. I'm going to hover over landing pages and uh, click on manage. Okay. <clears throat> I should have had some music. Dang it. Okay. So these this is a capture page and i'm going to click on it in a little bit this is the capture page i'm using for facebook marketing you know this is the link i send people to for facebook marketing it's gotten me over 100 people already it's got a 52 percent uh, opt-in rate right now which the industry standard for opt-in rates on a capture page is 30 percent so this is doing well I also have seen this same page get to 60%, a 60% opt-in rate, insane, okay? Um, I made uh, one just like it, but this one is just for, um, this one is just for my YouTube uh, channel, and that one's at a 50, it's almost at a 56% opt-in rate, insane, okay? Very good, and I'll, I have the uh, spinning wheel of death on this thing here. I don't know why it's doing that. I guess let's give it a second. Okay. I don't know what's happening here. All right, let me just go ahead and stop that so my computer's thinking too hard. I need to get a new computer. This is just it. This is just it. Wow, this thing's skipping. I hope I'm not glitching in this video. It's skipping a bunch. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, just actually click on it real quick. Hang on, I'm just gonna click on it. Come on, what is this thing doing? Just bear with me, guys. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to click on it twice. <laughs> oh, that's what happened. Oh my God, this is killing me. Yeah, I definitely should have had some music for this crap. Oh no, the spinning wheel of death. All right, finally I did it. This is it. It looks, to me, it's just like, 
I wouldn't have thought something like this would have gotten such a high opt-in rate. It's very consistent at that uh, little level there. Um, but this is it. You know, it's funny. I reached out to somebody in Web Wealth System. I actually reached out to the owner of a system called Web Wealth System that I'm in. He's been very helpful. I've been asking like crazy. I'm trying to pick his brain a little bit. And I asked him to take a look at some uh, a capture page I made for Web Wealth System. And he started giving me tips. And one of the things that he, he would talk about, he said, you know, uh, he talked about the, like, I usually have fancy backgrounds. I have like, you know, some beach or something pretty in the back. And he was like, studies have shown, um, I have to go back to that email one day and uh, show you guys. But he was like, there's basically nothing just like a clean white background or like very, very light colors. And I mean, when I started thinking about it, I'm like, that can't be, that can't be because that just, I mean, it just looks bad to me. But I don't think it's necessarily just this, uh, the white background, but I think it's also, again, with this Facebook marketing, the continuity. In my post, I had some of the, in my Facebook posts in these groups, I had some of the same things I was talking about here. In my follow-up messages, when I <clears throat> send people the information to come into here, I had the same type of copy or words in, uh, on this page than I did, and like I did in the, um, in the Facebook message. Um, and it's very simple. And um, like I said, it stands out. Tired of getting leads that don't convert in your business. Try this crazy system that allows you to make money for free. Best part is there's no convincing anyone to spend money to make money, right? And then I give a very strong call to action here. Enter your email below and fill out and fill out the form on the next page to make uh, money for free. And I have this, cause this is like the strongest call to action, right? Because when they put their name and press sign up, it's gonna take them to the project payday thing. And obviously you want them to go onto that form and fill it out. That's what gets us paid, right? So there you go. And at the end I have your information will never be, I have to move this over. Some of this is like off center, but it's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make this. It's very easy. Probably the easiest uh, capture page I've really ever made. Um, and hopefully my computer won't. Uh... Gonna hover over landing pages, press create. <clears throat> God, my computer's slow. It sucks. Uh, okay, so just so I'm gonna pause this video um, because it's taking. Oh my God, spinning wheel of death. All right, hang on. All right, so for the sake of this video not being 10 hundred hours, what you're gonna do is hover over landing pages, press create, come to the top, press start from scratch, and you'll, I think it's like the second one is the one I choose. The second one I choose, uh, and then you're just gonna press it and it's gonna. Okay, so hope I'm not glitching. Yes, um, that, when you press on start from scratch, the one I chose was the plain, uh, template, ten, the 10 plain, the, the number 10, okay, the 10 plain template, whatever it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to click here and you're literally going to start from scratch for real, okay? And we're going to delete all this, okay? Hover over this, delete, okay? Now I gotta make, the, I'm making this page again because I am also, because I'm gonna start doing some Instagram stuff and I wanna make a separate little page for it, okay? So anyways, what you're gonna do, uh, let's make the bar first. This is literally a drag and drop thing. So I did put a little hint of green right in here because I, I, I could break, go talk for 10 minutes on color breakdown and type of colors you want to use to get people to do things, but I'm not. I just chose these colors because once they log in, I mean, they put their email here and go to the next page, 
the capture page I'm using, the one that Project Payday gives you, is very green. And I just want it, like I said, I want the continuity to be like kind of the same. I want it to be very consistent. Okay, so I want the whole funnel to feel like it's all a part of Project Payday, even though we're making this ourselves here. So I'm going to try to make this little green bar at the top real quick. <clears throat> Okay, so we're gonna come to this box, this like plain looking box here and just drag it. And literally I'm gonna place it right there. Wait, oops. All right, I'm gonna place it like right here. We can't really see it. I'm going to right here, put it up. And it's gonna be kind of like a thin little line here just to add just some kind of little color here and to make it feel and drag it all the way to the edge here all the way right you're gonna you're gonna double click on it and then this little thing is gonna pop up that's where you can change the color okay you can choose solid color right I'm gonna use this and you're gonna find green the type of green you kind of want and I kind of want it project payday kind of has like a dark green like that but I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter okay bam there's that green bar from there on out. It's basically just text, okay? So right here, these lines are text. Literally drag, a f drag, let's see, two, drag three of them for now, okay? I'm going to, cause I already know what I have to do on this. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out. You can go ahead and place your text in there and then like kind of adjust it, but I already know how this page looks. I know how this has to be kind of long. And I'm actually gonna copy and paste the text from the other page here, okay? So I'm gonna go this line and I'm gonna copy it. You can right click and copy it, right? I just, so right click, copy, you can do that. I have a little shortcut on my keyboard. It's like uh, control C. I'm on a Mac though, so I don't know what it is for y'alls. Um, not Control C. I think it's Option C, something like that for y'all if y'all have a PC. Okay, so we're gonna click on it here. I'm just gonna delete everything, and then, bam. Okay. Now, obviously, you can't copy and paste anything. So right now, the uh, when you do the text bar, little editor box is going to pop up, go make it go to like 24. And then this is the font right here, Haveltica or something. That's the one. Okay. So choose that and it's bolded. So when you, when you go over here to the B, once you have it, highlight it and press the B. Um, okay. So this next text, I mean, this next box is also kind of long. I think it's longer than the first one, I think. Uh, okay. Um, we'll go ahead. Tired of getting leads that don't convert into your business. Okay. You guys can literally, now you guys can totally take this word for word. The, the thing I don't want too many people to say word for word are the posts I showed you on Facebook and the, um, see it does that sometimes. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, I'll just bold it. Right, again, same font. Okay, 24. I'm going to make sure this kind of goes up to it here. And actually, i got to adjust this, okay? And then this one is the middle. I'm just gonna do it. Whoops. Like that. All right. <clears throat> oh no. Bam. Okay. I'm gonna center this a little bit, right? Now keep staying on her so I guess you're the most important part here. Okay. And that's the opt-in form, making the opt-in form. So ah. 
you're gonna get a little box again, this little plain box. You're gonna come put it over here. And we're gonna make it kind of big. We're gonna make it like that. Um, it doesn't have to be that one right here. We do want it kind of big. And we want this to be done. We'll adjust it later. And what you're gonna then drag, this is the most important part, is right here, next under button. You can hover over it and it'll say drag and drop web form. That's what we want right here. Now, you can keep the name in there. I like to just have the email because it's fast and people, you know I mean, like they just put their email in and then there they go. So I kind of like to have like a one step email thing. All right. So there's that. Now we're going to change the color of this box to kind of make the web form pop a little bit and it's going to be like a dark gray. So you can come. Uh, like, oh, again, click on the little box. Make sure you don't click on this. Yeah, this light lit up. Don't click on that. Click on the actual box. Press that. Change the color. You can go, you can just do all the way black. You can go gray. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to actually, but sometimes the, um, it'll save the colors you you always use on your thing. So mine's kind of saved. Is it this gray? No, it's a little bit lighter. So let's fix this real quick. <clears throat> let's make it, why is it blue? Let's make it like that. Okay, not to be perfect. I'm just, I'm just trying to recreate that one and have this down here. We're gonna drag, we're gonna get another text now uh let me pause this real quick i guess hang on i paused it just so we can get on with it um i drug another text thing and i entered this in again if you have to edit this right just play with the size right here when you want to highlight i mean uh when you want to underline something obviously like highlight the words right here and then just press this u and it'll you can undo it and then add it and then change this color of the no. You just highlight the no and then pick your color. There you go. I actually got to change this button color real quick because I want it to be a little bit darker. So click on the the green, I uh, mean the button. I want to already have it set up. Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted. I didn't know you could even do that. I did not know you could change the background of the actual web form. I'm glad I know that. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I don't know if I want to do it like right, like that, mm -hmm. like that. Okay, just a little green button there. Okay, now what you do is check your work, right? So, like, come up here to preview it and press desktop preview right here, and it'll load. And that's actually better than now. This has to be a little bit bigger, okay, because I think this one. Um, yeah, those words a little bit bigger. All right, let me close this out. And I'm going to do, oh, let's see here. I'm going to make these, this a little bit bigger. So like 26. And I'll make this one like 27. Let's see. And I'll drop this down a little bit. So there's a little bit of space. Okay. A little bit. Bam. And there you go. We got to check the how it's going to look on somebody's cell phone. So right here next to these, this uh, desktop thing, click on the phone. And sometimes it'll look all messed up. So here's how you fix that. Hang on, it's gonna load. See how it's all messed up? Like everything's totally mixed up. So um, let's start with the this yellow needs to be at the top. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna click that again. Click on your text, and you probably can't see this right now. 
these like there's like a little plus sign and then there's like these two little boxes um, and then there's another one two little boxes, and then you have a trash can press the one that has um, the top little box white we're gonna press that a couple like a whole bunch of times actually and what that does is that moves this text on the mobile part without actually messing up the the desktop version okay so hang on see how it moved it all the way up okay for this green right here text I'm gonna close this out and I guess there's one uh, two probably three times I gotta click it let's see one two three the other one the other thing next to it makes things go down right Max, that was actually too far let me go back and press one time down let's check it there you go now that's in order now we got to get this text right above here because that's where it is on here so I'm gonna click on it you guys better see better see because right now it's down here I will put that there let's see sometimes you gotta play with it sometimes it's just hard actually let me let me go ahead and do the middle part oh this is messing up this is a long freaking video wow and we got the spinning wheel of death here <clears throat> this middle part every time you click it it will kind of refresh over here there you go it's there now I'm trying to get this text right here to go above the your email part on the phone getting this set is pretty important hang on okay finally fiddled with it and got it right there okay so we're gonna x this out and here's also part of the next i mean this is like the most important part basically here so we're gonna click next step okay and oh all right, so we're going to do the uh, page title. What I'm kind of naming this little caption, you can name it whatever you want to kind of remember it. Um, I'm going to put right here, hang on. What's this? Oops. Tam, uh, income. Then I'm going to put for mine, um, what you can put is after this income, put FB. Um, that's for Facebook. So if you want to make multiple pages with like the same exact one, you can just, uh, you know, know the one to track it. So I have one that has YT for YouTube. That's the one I put for my YouTube videos. But this one is going to be Instagram. So I'm going to put IG. There you go. That's just what I'm going to put. And down here it kind of gives you the link you're going to start post you're going to send this is the link you'll use to send out okay right here choose campaign you're going to go to the one you just made for project payday i'm going to click on project payday list two for mine i'm going to turn confirmed opt-in off and i'm going to this is something a whole different thing uh i'm going to check this off Thank you, Paige. This is very important. This is how, after somebody opts in, they get redirected, okay, to Project Payday, okay? So instead of a default thank you page, you're going to click on here and press Custom Thank You Page, okay? And you're going to put a URL here. Uh, dang it, hang on. All right, so I paused it real quick because what I noticed last time I tried to make a capture page project payday, um, where I need to put, see what, what you're supposed to put here is you would log into project payday and you would hit click on referral program, scroll down and get your referral link. And you would put that link, okay, right here. 
okay? What this is basically saying, a thank you page is the page after somebody opts into your capture page. So after somebody puts their email, you know, usually it'll take them to like a regular, like, thank you for opting in. But we don't want them to go there. We want them to go to this. And last time I noticed, I when I tried to put this in here, get response, it almost seemed like they blocked this link or something. I'm going to try it. Oh, no, I guess it's working today. Okay, well, I guess it's working. If it doesn't work for you and you copy it and you paste it and it like the, the box will highlight red and it'll be like, you can't do that or something. It'll say something weird. Um, what you'll do is go to a site called uh, Bitly, B-I-T-L-Y.com. Make an account, it's free. And you're gonna press create bit link, okay? And this basically masks your URL, kind of hides what it actually is. So we're gonna, you would paste your Project Payday referral link and it'll give you a new one. You just press copy, right? And then just put that into custom URL and it'll be the same thing. You could even test it out to make sure it goes to your thing. So then we're just gonna press publish, okay? Publish and it'll say, just wait for it to refresh, I mean to load. And there you go. This is the link. It's going to give you the link that you will send to people, okay, on Facebook. And mine says IG at the end because I'm going to try to test this thing out on Instagram. So I want to track my Instagram leads separately from my Facebook marketing and my YouTube marketing to see how well they're clicking on my page and kind of converting. So hopefully this helps you. Um, that's basically it, all right? Just start working and... Um, yeah, just pump those posts out on Facebook and um, get specific and, um, yeah, help people. So that's basically it. Talk to you later. God bless.